this is my hunting blind and you can see the fiberglass rod broke under the snow load what I'm doing is I'm gonna put this on here like that with construction adhesive and I'm gonna slide sorry I'm doing this one-handed <laughs> my rod in there like that obviously I'll adjust the aluminum back and forth once I get it in the, in the pocket that's what I'm doing so far back in a little bit okay I went ahead and slid the aluminum tube over the fiberglass filled this end up the aluminum tube with Gorilla Goo Gorilla Glue um, liquid adhesive and a caulking gun and spun this around a couple times even coating and slid it onto the other one hopefully that'll work all right we'll move on to the next one okay what I got here is a high security seal she used a piece of the cable I went through around the other ones and I'm gonna pull it through I'll put it put it through these I'm gonna stick it these inside the aluminum pipe and that aluminum pipe is going right on that. All right, hopefully it all hold together. Hopefully I can cut this thing. <laughs> See you in a little bit. Okay, I'm back for a little bit. See, I got the cable just up in there around the other three because this one's broken. And I'm gonna pull that through. Put this pipe on that cable on both sides and I will go ahead and put it on the fiberglass shaft doing this one-handed on my phone yeah I'm sure you've done it before too <laughs> all right I'll be right back okay this is the one that the cable had pulled out I just wrapped the cable around there I flattened the pipe a little bit so one side of the cable will fit in. The other side of the cable is just going down the side of it. Held together with a hose clamp. I will see how this one works and go from there. I am going to cover these up with electrical tape so they don't cut into the fabric. The other ones are sitting there nice and pretty. Letting them cure up a little bit. Got the paper towel on there so I don't get all the glue all over the all over the blind. But one thing at a time. Let's think about making a, a PVC skeleton and just pulling this over the top of it. That would work. A lot more expensive. Alright tubers, talk to you later. Bye for now. Well, okay, all sides popped out. Each side is spring-loaded. It's up there pretty good. Let's see what we got inside here. Oh. My big feet. Well, this is the one with the cable. Eh, maybe that one won't work so well. But, let's check out the other ones. That one seems to be doing good. That one's in there, right? That one seems to be doing good, too. Just that one there's a little bit weak. I think I can redneck engineer that one some more. Alright. Yeah, I think I can. But hey, it works for now. 
Yeah, I've rebuilt a bunch of these ones. Things keep breaking every time the snow lands on them. That one broke. That one broke. That one broke. <laughs> that one broke. That one broke. And... And that one broke too. <laughs> I just wrapped aluminum around it. And, uh... Put some hose clamps on it, electrical tape, and works fine. Alright. Time to pick up my mess. Talk to you later, everybody. Bye for now.